Aloha everyone. Today we'll be recapping an unprecedented weekend of baseball as the HHSAA 2023-2024 sports seasons come to an end. I'm Callan Spiller. And I'm Carter Wetchie, and you're watching Road to the Ship presented by Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union. The Kona Low surely made its impact on the baseball diamond this weekend, so shout out to all of the teams, players, and families who stepped up to the plate to weather the storm. We want to take this time to say mahalo to our fabulous sponsors. Mahalo to our sponsors, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union, IBW Local 1186, Hawaii Pacific Health, Young Brothers, Pro City Shopping Center, and Sports Stand. Mahalo for supporting our show. In the game that started on Thursday and ended on Friday, Kamehameha Hawaii rode the bat of Dominic Christensen who went 2 for 2 with a double and 4 RBIs en route to their win over Kauai 7 to 2. The official start time on Thursday was delayed for an hour under rainy conditions. The Warriors put up 6 unanswered runs before the game was suspended. Kauai, with the bases loaded, struggled to find the grip on the ball and walked in 2 runs. To follow, Christensen's line drive double down the third base line brought in an extra two runs, making the game 5-0 in the second inning. Finishing the game up on Friday, Kauai would score two runs in the top of the six on a double from Dane Yamauchi, but the Warriors would hold on and win 7-2. The two-time defending state champions, the Damian Monarchs, looked to return to the state championship game, but they would have to go through the OIA champions and the number one seed in the YNIC Riders. The Sea Riders broke the tie at zero as Shai Nagasako, who was walked to get on base, came around to score on a Damian error a couple plays later. In the bottom of the fifth, Damian's Ridge Kohagura led off the inning with a triple and came home to tie the game up on a single from Max Detrinis. One inning later, and with runners on second and third, Triton Vicari hit a sacrifice fly to right field to bring home Francis O'Connor for what would be the game-winning run. The Monarchs reign supreme and head to the championship game once again with their 2-1 victory over the top-seeded YNIC Riders. On the campus of Moanalua, we played on for the Division II state championship. Looking to dethrone the two-time defending state champs Damien, the Kamehameha Hawaii squad would put up 12 unanswered runs, including 9 in the first inning, to stun the Monarchs. The Warriors Ka'ohu Kavelu, Dominic Christensen, Shiloh Santos, and Braden Gomes all had two hit days and drove in a collective seven runs. On the mound, Santos held the Monarchs scoreless through four innings of play. In the fifth and final inning, Santos would get Damien to fly out to Kamakaili in center field for the first state championship since 2016. The Warriors' Shiloh Santos earned his sixth win of the season and maintained a 1.21 ERA through 34 and two-thirds innings of work this season. Now let's go to a post-game interview to hear how a nine-run first inning helped him in his efforts to shut down the Monarchs' offense. Um, it set the, set the tone for, for us and just kept us rolling through the whole game. We just had a high energy and played together the whole time. We just really won it. We're hungry for a call and we're taking it home. It means a lot to me. A lot of us grew up playing together. A lot of us traveled together and this team is just really close as a whole. In the first semifinal at the Division I level, the number two overall seed Maui Sabres took on the ILH runners-up in the St. Louis Crusaders. This was a battle between two pitchers with Maui's Isaiah Coco and St. Louis's Colby Gushikin who both threw five scoreless innings. The Sabres would record just one hit in this game, but it was a critical hit in the bottom of the sixth inning. Pinch runner Mickey Matson came in for Isaiah Coco, who reached the first base on a fielder's choice. After moving to scoring position on a sacrifice bunt, Nicholas Nashiwa laced a ball through the left side of the infield to score Matson and ultimately win the game for the Sabres 1-0. In the second semi-final game, it was a rematch of last year's state championship game when Kamehameha Kapalama walked it off against Baldwin. This year, the Bears got revenge over the Warriors. Battling through four scoreless innings, the Bears took a 3-0 lead in the bottom of the fifth. 
Marley Sebastian brought home Isaac Imamura on a squeeze bun, and Christian Domino's double brought home two more bears. In the top of the six, a sacrifice fly from the DH, Matthew Zariello, and an RBI single from the pitcher, Grayson Osboon, cut the Warriors' deficit to one, but a stunning catch from Caden Anderson in center field ended the inning and stranded two Kamehameha runners on base. The Bears beat the Warriors 3-2 and move on to the championship where they face Maui and make history as the first time two Maui teams face off for the state championship. In the championship matchup, the Maui Sabres and the Baldwin Bears endured hours of rain delays but were ultimately unable to finish the championship game. When the game began, which was about an hour later than anticipated, the MIL champs, the Maui Sabres, took a two-run lead in the bottom of the first inning. Dawson New slammed a single up the middle to bring home Ekolu Arai and Nicholas Nashiwa. Baldwin immediately answered back with an RBI single from Javon Raboy that brought home Cade Fujioka. In the top of the third, right before the game would go into another rain delay, Fujioka got plunked on his helmet with the bases loaded, and the game-tying run would come in to score. Immediately after that at bat, the rain would pour even harder and the game would come to a pause. Per the HHSAA, umpires called a rain delay at 2.53 p.m. 46 minutes later, at 3.39 p.m., HHSAA officials and school administrators called the game due to safety concerns. Multiple scenarios were considered to complete the game at a later date and venue. However, due to the end of the school year activities, including graduations, no viable options were available to complete the game. The Molly Sabres and Baldwin Bears are declared co-champions of the 2024 D1 tournament. Congratulations to both teams. Despite the Kona low, the quality of baseball we saw this weekend was high. Thanks to all of the players for making this an HHS AA baseball tournament one to remember. And make sure to check out our Road to the Ship recap of the softball tournament at this link. This wraps up our Road to the Ship series for the 2023-2024 school year. For all the seniors that are graduating, good luck on your future endeavors. And for everyone that's returning, we look forward to covering more state tournaments next year. Mahalo to our presenting sponsor, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union. Mahalo to our supporting sponsors, IBW Local 1186, Hawaii Pacific Health, Young Brothers, Pro City Shopping Center, and Sports Stand. Mahalo for joining us this year. I'm Callan Spiller. And I'm Carter Uechi, and you've been watching The, the Road, Road to, to the, the Ship. Ship. Happy summer! Okay. <laughs> don't do it. Don't put it in. Don't put it in. No, don't do it.